guys. So this is a cute DIY that I saw on Pinterest. It was meant for a Christmas ornament, but I didn't have any of the bulbs around. So I just decided to make it into a jar. So the first thing that you'll need is obviously a jar. And then you'll obviously need scissors because we're going to be cutting up some old sheet music that I have into little strips. So I am a musician, so I have a ton around. So you also need ribbon just to decorate the top of the jar. So just take your sheet music and cut it into strips and eventually cut off the margins or it won't really look that good because it's mostly white on the margins. So just make sure that you have the little strips of the sheet music, the bars, and the notes. Side, and I'm going to show you the technique of how I curl them. It's the same thing that you use for ribbons for Christmas presents, so all you do is you just place it on the edge of the scissors and pull. It's really easy, but just don't cut yourself. So just put your thumb down and pull. Sometimes if it doesn't curl out right, like this one didn't, you just can do it more than once. But if you do it more than one or two times, it'll just look really weird. It'll just all be cut on the back. So only do it one or two times. extras from an earlier craft with these so I just put them in there so it looks really nice and filled but you can also put them in a mason jar and guess they don't all fit but mason jars are also really cute to put them in so you just take your ribbon tie it around the top of your jar in a cute little bow and you're pretty much done and I actually have fairy lights those cute little wires of lights that you can get, you know, at Christmas tree shop or Joanne's Fabrics. And I just had them sitting around. So what I decided to do is just take out the paper from the jar and just put those little lights inside of there. They light up and these are starting to run out of battery, but and there we go. Now they're on. So all I did is just coiled them up and put them into my jar. Just gives it a cute little, cute little light up touch, makes it into a cute little decoration for your piano or your nightstand or something like that. So just lay it on there, undo the ribbon, and tie it around that piece of wire so that it doesn't stick out too much. So with this craft, there's a bunch of different things that you can do with it. You can, you know, give it as a gift to a music lover for Christmas or the holidays or something like that. Or if you are like me, you can just take it and put it on your nightstand as a cute little nightlight. So yeah, there are so many possibilities with this craft. So I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.